What's up, gamers? We're gonna enter the current time. Oops. All right, it is. Just by the way. No, I have confirm. Seconds and confirm. Hang on, hang on. I'm not pressing X because I need Tom for this shit. So I'm gonna wait for him. Hit X. I can't. I don't want my friend to miss this. Sorry, game. You're gonna have to wait. I put the current time in because every time you reset, you have to put the current time in. Okay. And it just says, hang on, hang on. It's the same way to press X already because he's like, I'm like, wait, I have to wait for my friend. Right, I mean, I mean. Before we get started, can I just say something? Okay. Can I do it in the narrative voice, I guess? Thank you for actually saying that both times you boot up the game. A lot of people don't take the time to set it up seriously. They just leave it at 12 o'clock and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the time you're saying are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, the next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time anytime you want. Go ahead and pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, let's get back to the video game now. Thank you. All right. The end is never the end is never the end. This is the storm. No, skip. We already did this. Trophy earned. Welcome back. Oh, we have to find a new content room again because we didn't do everything in the new content room. Or you just want to do whatever. I'm just going to do whatever. Okay. Well, we, uh... Apparently, when you boot up the game, it just resets everything. You just have to skip the opening cutscene, Jordy. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's a new content room. Wait, we need our bucket. Go back to the new content. We need the bucket. Oh, wait. Well, no, we, yeah, we said we're doing the bucket last, right? We're not going to do the bucket. Right, so... When let's Stanley came see. to a let's set do the two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go to the right, or let's go to the left. What do you want to go? Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> Yet there Lift was not that whiteboard. Go back to that whiteboard. Either. The whiteboard over there. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley no, decided the big to one. go up to his boss's the office, big one. hoping he might find an answer there. The figurines. I should have the figurines on that big whiteboard. Not the other one. You were just at it. All right. Uh, I think it reset everything actually, because usually when you do the new content, it's right there on that whiteboard. The clues. That's weird. Uh oh, dude. There's the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Mm. 
It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything. Okay, I'm here, misremembering right? the game. Apparently, Stanley walked we're fine. Past the broom I'm misremembering the game. It's fine. We're good. reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. What you have to get all the Stan Lorenes to do the epilogue ending, it. which is the epilogue room. Right. That's why it kicked you back to the. That makes sense. We're good. Don't worry. We're fine. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe we will go talk about this with your friends or say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a fat connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down on your central nervous system, and you collapsed in front of your screen. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your cutless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I think that's the end of the ending, but let's just make sure. Yep, I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> Yep, that's it. that's the ending. I think we got it. Pretty sure that's the ending. No, I want to keep the bump scosty though. So no. Wait, is bump scosty still there? Yeah, it is. A hundred. Put it back at a thousand. Wait, what the fuck? I like the that. Okay. Okay, good. I'll play everything default and then put Bumpscosty back up. Oh, because you don't like what the current. I don't like the field of view. Oh, you could just change that. You didn't have to reset everything. I don't know what the keyword it was. The field of view? Yeah. It was 50. It was at. I don't like it all zoomed out. Okay. Alright. That's better. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. All right, we're going down, right? We already coming did. to a staircase. We want to go down, Stanley right? walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh shit! Go through there. Yep. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. 
all of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, Welcome to the confusion he the conclusion that he, had been on the, the confusion ending. He just hadn't found the words for it. The I'm bucket dreaming. ending here is really good. I love the yeah. bucket ending for confusion this ending. I can't is wait all for that a dream. one. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring okay. through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And why he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Oh, no, you got the insane ending as well. Like. And in that else. moment, she thought to herself like how lucky she was got. to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, 
and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Well, that's the uh, ending. So, we did that. All of his co-workers were gone. Wait, there's an ending what if could we it mean? stand on Stanley the 434 desk. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps desk. he had simply missed a memo. If you stand on the 434 desk. No matter how hard Stanley looked, and then jump out the window. He couldn't find a trace Just, of his co-workers. Yeah, stand on there. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary. If you go out and do this with the bucket, the it's the best ending in the game if you do this with the bucket. Of structural we have to remember to do this with the bucket. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun yep. and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? If you say yes, you get something funny. If you say no, you say something even funnier. I think, I think you get... I... Ah, and in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea... We gotta say yes, we gotta do this again and say yes. I want to see what happens. That answer. So we're gonna say no this time, and we'll say yes the other time. Thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Say no. Oh, now think about yeah. it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Oh. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? We haven't done that. Imagine one. if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, so you have to reset now and do the other ending, I guess. You did the no ending. So just reset the game. Begin the game again. Now, do you jump out the window again? We have All to. All of his co workers were gone. Because we gotta do the what other one. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard. This time she was the yes one. Realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Now say yes and see that. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Oh no. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, 
He was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function, which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. You too will become quite unbearable. Can last listening to this music. Okay, so yeah, we just did the one where it's song or voiceover, and we did, uh, Climb Out of the Window 434, you just did that one. I think it's done, we can just reset now. We, well, Tom, we lasted! We, we did it! We did it! <laughs> that wasn't so miserable! Yay. Okay, now what? All of these co-workers... So we did the windows, gone. check mark, done. There's Stanley there's decided there's to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I think you have to find door number... Is it? Door number 430. Hit that, click it five times. 430 times. Okay. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the trophy? Click a door five times? Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. I got to... I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that Do warrants it. recognition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction Ugh. of witnessing yeah. true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Really? Yes, almost <laughs> certainly 50 Just clicks. do it fast. No, 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 no. I'm still not feeling it. I want this trophy to have meant something. What's next, 100? It be a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way no matter the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Find door 417! 417. They go... They count down, so it should be easy to find, right? So 420, so we have to go in the next room. Four, right, is that, is that it? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, 20 times. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437, 437. Now you gotta go back right? Because it goes up now. So we'll find 437. That's 427. 
Wait. There he is. What? It was hiding. How many times? I don't know, I'll just keep clicking until he says something. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415 is probably... 10 clicks or so. 415. 425. Probably the next room, right? 417. 415. Now, back to door number 437. Oh my god! Got it. <laughs> you remember where that is? It was the hiding one. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. We're 17. Okay. The copy machine. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Uh, 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 wait. I can do it. Wait. 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 Chunky ass in here. Come on. It's 419, right? Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> yes! This yes. is great! Okay. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416, got it. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. 416, where is it? 415? When Stanley came to a nope. set of two open doors, oh, he entered the door. No. No reset. Oh. oh! I thought it was in the next room. No, we probably just missed it. Now we have to redo the whole thing. All of this co-working. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the trophy? Yes, and we messed up because we didn't know we couldn't go this far. Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just, I can't just give Well, at least we know what to do now. For such little effort, a measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that's that warrants 17. recognition. Or fifteen. Wait. Four sixteen. Wait. What? That's four sixteen. We'll find mm. it. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. It has to be 50 when you start No, 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 no. I'm still not feeling it. I want this trophy to have meant something. Well, we look up where 416 is. true yeah. reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way no matter the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now, back to door number 437. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Give, wait. Okay. I need to find out what 416 is. Four one six. Four one six. Oh God, it takes a while to get there. Ah, uh, you do have to go through. Okay, let me just tell you. Let me walk you through it. Okay, so four one six. 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 Four one
Like, I just want to know where it is. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through this real quick. So you're going to go through the left door. Left door. When Stanley Side. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Four, one, three, four, twelve. Go into the blue room, yes. Are you in the blue Yet room? there was not a single person here either. Go through Feeling that door, Feeling a wave yes. of disbelief, Passing Stanley decided to go up, up to, to his the boss's, boss's office. office. Hoping he might find coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Go through the wooden doors. Uh, Over there. This one? Yes. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once Go again the stunned white door. to discover not an yeah, indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth no, that, that his boss had been door. keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an be a white extra door. secret pin yeah, number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, so cut that Stanley out. couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I feel like you're doing this wrong. What was the white door then? The white door was in the man. We must have went through the wrong door. In the manager's office. We have to start over. I think. There was a white door in the manager's office. That allows you to get there. Show me the, show me the door. It was in the manager's office. And it was... It was over here by behind the it was over there and you go down here. Wait. You have to go behind the the computer desk. Wait. You go through there. Oh, you have to shut the boss's door before he says it. And then that opens up. Oh Fuck. I do this again. <laughs> Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the trophy? Click a door five times? Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. I can't, I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks? Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Oh, this for a trophy. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Uh. No, 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 I'm still not feeling it. I want this trophy to have meant something. It has to be a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness uh, to go okay all the way yeah. no matter the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415 was over here. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> Worst part is, it's just for a trophy. I thought this was going to be easy. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the, co the copy machine. machine. The All right. Machine. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Go back to 417. I think they're making okay. fun of backtracking in video games. Employee 419's <laughs> desk. Oh, great. Now we're going to be stuck here. Yes! Time. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. All right. This time we got to shut the boss's door before he yes, starts the grenade. Stanley, Stanley came to a set away. of two open doors. He entered the in. door on his left. Yes. Okay. Let's give me a secret shit. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's that door you have to be in and out of. I think you have to let him talk about then go right back out. Stepping in. Who is this? All right, where's that white door? There it is. Where? Yes. Go down the stairs. Uh. Now what? Just keep going down the stairs. Keep going. Uh, wait. Check over here first before we go. Just okay. so make sure. Yes, yeah, just make sure in there. That Let's see. Come out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Yes, this must be it. I remember this part. Okay, okay. Four and five, four and five, please. Four and eleven. Four twelve. Four thirteen. No, keep going. Oh. Yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah. Just keep going. Uh, four and five! Four and it's four sixteen. Oh, it's four sixteen. Oh, keep going then. There it is! We've almost got oh. it! <laughs> now the copy machine do that one again! <laughs> okay, it just becomes a door. A new door. We have to find the copy machine. That's the same copy machine, right? Yep. There it is! Finish it off, Stanley! <laughs> Five clicks on door! Four, three, zero! Yes! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, if it wasn't for four and six, you'd have to do some hidden shit. Could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Alright, nice. Alright, now, now what we do? What did we do yet? What? All right, let's just do some stuff. Let's. Oh, we we didn't do like disobey him in the narrator completely yet. Like just do everything against him. Okay. Uh, I think we we, uh, we got to go through the right door. Okay. But this time, go through the door like he said. Actually, no, we already did the disobey ending, so we just have to do. Wait a second. We have to go through the left door. Hold up. What's going on here? Hold up. I have, like, broke it. We broke it? No, I don't think we broke it. But we kind of sort of broke it. You want to just reset then? No, no, no. I'm going to go back up and see what happens. Oh, when you go through that white door? Oh, they won't let you. He would think we go through that door. Oh, there it is. I found the white door. It's behind you. you that's yeah. the door you're just going to enter. Wait, I know there's a Stanley in here. But I think we have to trigger the new content ending again. Okay. There was a Stan Lorene here, but I think we have to re-trigger that new content shit okay. again. Unfortunately. So now what? Um, is there anything new downstairs? Um, probably. Let's look down there. Maybe there's an ending down there that we haven't seen yet. Nope. Nothing down oh, there. That's too. I think we have to reset the game. I think we broke it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a classic, it's a what the fuck? We broke it even more. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Is that the Bobscosity meter at a thousand, maybe? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Probably, because we hit the copy machine so many times. This is all just a fake way to activate the copy machine. Let's see if the doors will let us go through the right door now. I don't think it let us do it last time. There's new content. We are, we can do that later. Right Wait. door's open. So... Well, I guess we go through that. I will do right when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly okay, well. We Perhaps he wanted to We already did the, the uh, what is it, the Just ending where you do everything it. wrong, right? So we have to do something right. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth it, but okay. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, yeah, one. and got back on track. That's the password. Naruto 01, that's the password. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh yeah. da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. 
Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. You might want to pause the game while you're talking to him. Did you do cap? Did you capitalize the N? Okay. Did you add the exclamation point? Uh, you know the... Yeah? I don't know what you did wrong then. Send me a... Can you send me a picture of what you did? Alright, did you, did you do the email? I'll help you later, okay? I'm sorry. Is Sandra home? Okay, when she comes back, she can help you with it. Okay. No, okay, no, no, I, no, I not the right. Now. Why would I have ever said it okay, was I'm to sorry. the right? What Love was I too. thinking? It's Bye. clearly... Oh, Use your mic because you're doing sensitive yeah, information. Yeah. Right. Now, let's what are we doing? I was hand Right, left. We're doing the left. ending right. where we went down the elevator. Yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Uh -oh. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. No, it's not over. Go back All of there. his co-workers were go gone. Yeah, go back there. It's not over. <laughs> Stan had decided to go you to the meeting. Again? Yeah. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. See, I was not over. Oh, new content's gone. Yep. Wait. When Stan... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure right that here. it's here somewhere. No, that okay, sense. then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. <laughs> I guess go through any door you want. Uh, this one. Is that meme with the like internet hallway? <laughs> I don't think it's Sammy Parable, but it's like some meme where it's just a whole the hallway is infinite. I don't even know what I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No! I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? All right, well, we got to go back, because... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You can't have still gone, yep. Uh-oh. Okay, yep. It's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. Okay. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Now there's just no doors, Why period. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Shoot. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind, not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Where, uh, what, uh, what? Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. 
Do you remember Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. That's the meme song from the game. Music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, thanks. Uh, we'll remember the fern. Thanks. I hope it's really important to the story. Okay. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story is... Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. <laughs> oh, it's still going. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild, use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I think you're forced to acknowledge it. <laughs> uh, they want you to go through there. How are you going to go? Yeah, I guess we're just not going to acknowledge it. We can't go in there. Going off the line. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? 
And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. You got the whiteboard ending. Oh, hold up. What's the confusion this? ending. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're Never mind, you got the confusion ending. That's what this is. Deviate it's from the maintenance room, end up in the monitor room, room. narrative restarts the game, first restart, restart discover the two doors, eight, room now has additional doors. That's really how all this goes? It's all... There it goes for people. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this thing... wall... well... Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. You've been playing the confusion things for 18 minutes. Do it. <laughs> and 21 seconds. And the timer the... stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? We went, Will someone come for us? Yep. Will something happen? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I guess <laughs> now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? It was I'm definitely confusing. Sure in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... <laughs> well, that was the confusion ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Well, we did confusion, so we're done with that. Okay. Uh, except we need the bucket for that later, but we'll do the bucket okay. later. Uh, there was a bucket ending for that. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go finish the new new content? Do we want to go... I don't know. Do we need to trigger the new new content again to get the figurines? Because we still need to do that. Alright. Is that... Is that it? Uh, there's still some original endings left. We didn't get the escape pod ending yet. We didn't... Uh, we get the escape pod ending. Well, let's look that up. Because I don't think I don't, remember. There was no fucking way I put the shit out of that. Yeah. Let me go find it. See here. To get the escape pod ending, let me go to the uh, cheat card here. There's no, no spoilers! Alright, escape pod. Take the door on the left, go down the staircase, find the staircase, go to the boss's office, back out of the boss's office. Oh, back out of the Okay, do what I did before for the uh, find room 17. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that again. But this time, just don't go through the door. Just look. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's how you get the escape pod ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You want to make sure you get all the OG endings done first, then yeah. do you like the... Before we do the new content endings. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Like The moment he entered his... Fuck. You have to do it again. I doubt myself. I doubt myself. <laughs> I think... Sorry. Yeah. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. How did you get there? How did you like? There was yep. a computer, perhaps. And a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? I want to hear this out. He could no longer recall. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Also, the way when I Stanley was, came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wow. I never went that way. I'm like... Wait a minute. Like, I got confused for a second. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Stepping... Alright, now what? Oh, sorry. At least the escape pod, right? Yeah. Let me get there. 
I have a door to Now return to your office at the start. Oh, okay. Now just go back to your office at the start of the game. Right yeah. Got it. Kudos to the people that figured this shit out by themselves. Yeah, because we win. No. If I was someone that fucks around, maybe I'd get that. Like, oh, oh, I broke the door. Ooh, now what happens? You know. So now we have to go back to our our, our office. I guess all the way back. All the way back. And a new papillum is up apparently. Ooh, that door opens. You are now leaving. The escape part is in room seven hundred and sixty. Up the stairs. Another good ending with the bucket, too. <laughs> so. <laughs> there are good things about this bucket. <laughs> I feel like this is a trap, don't you think? I don't think we're escaping. I don't know. I doubt there's. Did we already escape? Yeah, and it was like a. It was bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of stairs. Yeah. Long journey to freedom. Does it mean there's something like a vacuum on? You hear that shit? Oh boy. Seven five nine. Floor seven six zero on the way. Escape pod this way. Escape. Did it. Now what? Oh. Wait. Did we do it wrong? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought no, of total solitude was terrifying to him. Was that it? Uh, once you start, go through the left door, you'll reach the stairs, go up the stairs, towards the manager's room, we did that, go through the double door, back out, we did that, turn to your office and start the alternative path, we did that. Yeah, okay. We must have did it. Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's the ending, but I want to make sure. Do you want me to look up a video of it? Just yeah, see. sure. That should be it. That should be it. Kind of a blasted one, but... Yeah. Let me look it up. I'll probably, like... Obtain the ending. Exit Stanley's office at the last two doors, get the one on the left. Once you get to the staircase, go in the boss's office, enter it slowly. Quickly step back out, we did that. The ending. When the door to the boss's office closed, the area was completely silent, indicating that you may or may not be trapped inside that room. Unable to progress, Stanley must backtrack, and the door will have opened for what you wait. We did that. Stepping into the abyss, Stanley will enter a room with a large sign. You are now leaving. Go to 760. Stanley traverses up several flights. We did that. I never ran another back of this. The escape pod opens in anticipation before Stanley can reach it. The game breaks before we start. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what happens. Alright, alright, yeah. <laughs> because he can't escape, so the game breaks. There is no escape. Yeah. Alright, so now what? Alright, did the escape pod. What haven't we done in the OG ending? Uh, we go back. What haven't we done? We haven't done the, uh,. Unplugged ending. You didn't do the. Uh, oh, that's right. How did you unplug? You have to unplug the phone okay. instead of answering it. Where I, where I go for that again? Where it's at the crane at the right door. You go oh, for the right door. Came to a set ride the crane up. Right. This was not yeah, the correct way to yeah. the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible so step he on the crane right up and then unplug the phone. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. 
please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for... This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Unplug the phone. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to... Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just <laughs> unplug the phone? <laughs> now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music happen. comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical <laughs> real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals I mean, recommend the area doing an American choices accent. per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah. Welcome back. Oh. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Almost there, you'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Yay.
Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why does he go right? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Everything's oh, so... Oh, it's a fucking pocket! It's all warped! Oh my god! Hurry, Tom, get back! Like EA made it. I'm glad we did that. We wouldn't have missed that. <laughs> That's good. I'm like, I'm doing it. <laughs> no! Where are you going? <laughs> Turn back. It's not too late. No. Oh, so ruined. Shit. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story you've destroyed my work why for what what did you get out of that what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone left here like so much garbage it, well, it's worthless now and what am I supposed to do even if there were a way to continue would it be worth it to know that my story is now incorrect how can I go back to that I can't erase that knowledge I'll have to live with it forever Reliving its impossibility forever. I love how the science says, it's okay. It's okay. Is it better to shut the that game was down slick. entirely? <laughs> to willingly destroy all of my work? And, uh, and there's a door. That's, That's the red door. door. That's supposed to be. It's supposed to go, but the game glitched out. No, I have to. I have to shut the game it. down. I have to. Yeah. I have to. It was so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Didn't I? Yes, yeah, so we want to get all the endings. How important it was to be like <laughs> Except for the baby one. We're gonna watch he that later on YouTube. Knows how to do that is not happening. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a I center to the right door doors, again. he entered the door on his left. Fuck you. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, okay, it's just the same shit. Let's just go back through the left door. Oh, he, he just kicked me out. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibly and Wait, always right? putting Fuck the story up. first. I'm quite sure you'll be no, up to the task. No, I think it's just, just that extra thing you get for doing it. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, gone. unraveled, yep. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. 
Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Huh, I thought that'd be a thing. All right. I'm know. sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? We just Please can't do it. speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This <laughs> is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He that? knows what it means to take a story seriously. I if you didn't want to see what I had to it. show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Did why did you come this way? Speak. <laughs> Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two of oh, doors, you're above the map. Door on his left. You're getting a behind-the-scenes look. <laughs> you're literally above Stanley? the map. Hello? Are you... <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh my god, it's me. Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. Yeah. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. That's a fake out. <laughs> That's so fake. Come on. It's just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. Yeah, the credits would not end like that. Usually you have like a copyright nose or whatever. Take as much time as you need. Well, there you got it. You got the unplugged ending. His brain got unplugged. <laughs> I remember he did that shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We didn't do the taped ending. Taped? Yeah, go through the right door, reach the warehouse, to the left of the cargo lift, stand on the box, and drop down. Turn around to find an open vent. Wait, okay, to the right. So before you get on the when lift... Stanley came to a before set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What but eager to get back to business, Stanley oh, took the first... Oh, we already did a venture line ending. Nope, bye. Okay, so... This way? Yes. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stand on some boxes, apparently, before the lift. And there's an open vent. Wait, let me read it again. Alright, once you start, go to the right door, reach the warehouse. To the left of the cargo lift, stand on the box and drop down. To the left of the cargo lift, stand on the box and drop down. And there'll be an, an open vent once you drop down. I think I got an idea of what it wants me to do. Oh! Oh, that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm jumping. 
Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path Oh, it's a cave for color shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the Well, that's the ending. I'll just leave. <laughs> that's the ending. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? A silly and tripe explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely fall off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <laughs> Now I become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Done to me. Alright, that was good. I like that one. <laughs> all of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Alright, what else? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Did not get true happiness. Perhaps he had simply true missed a memo. Go through the right door and reach the warehouse. Take the cargo lift and drop down to the catwalk. Below on the right side, reach the area of the red and blue doors. This time, go through the red door. Oh, we didn't do the red door, we did the blue. Oh, did set of two okay, open okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open no. door on his left. No, going to the cargo lift. Fuck your adventure line, we already did that shit. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Go in the cargo lift, jump off to the catwalk like years ago. Like. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong All right, foot. Alright, get to that catwalk. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Which one was it? Again? I realize that investing your that trust in someone else can be yeah. difficult, but the fact is that the story. <laughs> but in his eagerness to prove. <laughs> you that he's... missed! Ah! I missed. I, sh I should have waited. I should have waited. <laughs> All of his <laughs> you got the dead ending again! <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah, later. Yeah, I know. We have OG stuff to do. Yeah, see? That's different now. Hmm. This is completely different. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting. Maybe because you did some of the Stanley achievements, they switch up the well. office. If you do like Perhaps some of the achievements. Stop by the employee lounge first, yeah. just to admire it. Like, Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies <laughs> in his stomach, but eager to get <laughs> back to business. Stanley yeah, took, took the, the first open, open door, door on his left. Yeah, he did. Stanley was so yeah, bad at following right. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong yeah, foot weird. here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. Wait, it says no buckets allowed. Something Go beautiful. back, there's a sign, there's a sign. Let me prove it. Oh, never mind. Let me it said no buckets allowed on it. Side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. I, Stanley walked through the red door. Red yes. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. The Black Void? The Void? Hmm. What 
do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, standing, I think I feel So to happy. get this ending to end, you I stay here as long as you want, happy. then you have to leave. <laughs> so you stay here as long as you want, and when you get bored, you just leave. And look at all the pretty colors. Hey, is this what happiness feels like? Oh god, we didn't have a seizure. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, he, he's just not going to say anything until you leave, so you can just stay here as long as you want. All right, I think we're, we're just gonna leave now. No, wait, where are you going? I'm leaving. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, yeah. no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take Actually, this go back, from me. Because there might be dialogue, so let's just go back in the room. Let's fuck with him a bit. Let's go back. I think I might know this ending actually, but there's different dialogue if you do it again. Good, good. We can't be too like, safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. And now we go back out and go back in. We'll fuck with him a bit. Let's go leave. Bye. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I know. Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? Maybe. Nah, we're, nah, we're leaving. Ha, ah, fuck no. you. <laughs> you hurt me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? Okay, we'll go back. Fine. <laughs> you are, no, no. I think he's we to got all the dialogue. <laughs> Maybe it'll be quick and painless. Let's see what happens. <gasps> okay. Damn it, no. No. There's so many papers to file. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Well, time to die. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a Guess moment. Guess we're going back to the room. Now, can we please get back to the other room? I'm now. Yeah, because you. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. We'll stay here for a bit, and then leave again, then jump off again, and then come back. Is that what we have to do to get all the uh, dialogue? All right, I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna kill ourselves now. We got our happiness. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Fine. We gotta exhaust them. We got all. Nah, no, he's just done talking. Okay. Okay, then fuck it. We're gonna kill ourselves now. I mean, the stars are nice and all. Forever, though. <sighs> I love the slow one. No. No, no. What are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I guess we're done here, so... Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that <laughs> for me? Okay. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. 
I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Alright, we're out. Peace. <laughs> no, perhaps not. I'm just gonna assume there's no dialogue if you go back in. Just in, I'm just gonna assume that. Defeat this mortal coil. Freedom. My God, is this really how much you dislike <laughs> my game? That you will throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I. <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds like we're. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Is that the line you were hoping for? I just want you actually want to stay alive. Or are you just teasing me? There's the line you wanted. <laughs> I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Well, it's not possible. Bye. <laughs> He's just done. He's like, oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm done talking to you. Here you. Look how slow he's walking. Yeah, breaking my legs. That's, that's the logic. <laughs> Stanley has very strong legs. Maybe people can, like, tear their claws and stuff and still walk. Not well, but they still walk. Okay, well, we're leaving. Bye. We're dead. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> well, we got the happy, this one. Alright, what's now, uh, next club? We have 30 minutes. I think we can do all the other endings. We're almost done. What's the family simply? What just happened? I closed the door. And it triggered the Stanley Safe in the room ending. Oh. You did the Sing Stars ending, right? Where you just like you go down the stairs instead of going up the stairs, right? All you of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley me. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Oh, time for new content endings. We did everything. New content? We did all the OG endings. You noticed my side. I did notice Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. That's for 16. First part is we still have to go through the song. We're fucking shit again. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. All right, just... Speed run. We already did all this. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory yeah, we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience yeah. built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many yeah. different directions. This is what yeah. fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Do I have to do that? Um, to get the epilogue? No. You have to do... Let me look it up, actually. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do the collectible ending first. Yeah, do the collectible ending. So we have to collect the first Stanley figurine to, to, to trigger it. 
Oh, okay. Out of order. Out of order. You've been here already. Oh, so it did save. Okay. So we then we should do. We, can we get the bucket? Uh, yeah. Where's the bucket? It jump circle. That's that's closed. Wait, that's closed. Yeah. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump we circle. We never did this. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Before. Yeah, but you didn't come in here when we went to the Stanley Parable 2 section. I think it's like I used all the jumps in the test thing. Yeah, but okay, this, the reassurance bucket? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much uh, catchier than that Ultra way. Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra bucket. Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic step. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. I guess it never said. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well... I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution so we can still get the bucket, to right? this fundamental yeah, problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Do you want you to see, Stanley, the anytime you're holding the bucket, well, a sense first. of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal. Are we going to do the bucket endings now, since we can't do the, uh, You may even come to long yet. for the gentle embrace of jarring of cognitive dissonance uh, while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for so this me says out of order. actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the Maybe ass? Maybe we need to get the bucket to trigger yes, the, the bucket collectibles. Is the perfect solution. Because it's set out of war and we have the bucket. Give it a try. Can, the, um... <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must is already idea, be sweeping through your body. In and in fact, Maybe. can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Really? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? You're true. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable 2. Alright, now I'll see if we can do collectibles. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. Okay, I'm yeah, now everything unlocks. So you have to have the bucket. The office with you. could use a bit of decoration. So we use that one. We... Like balloons. But I'm undecided I guess on get saved, well though. someday and happy twelfth birthday. So we went get well Which soon, would you right? go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person. Person's opinion. It makes Speed you run the shit, get out, we gotta go. Knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step, step niece it is. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision, we're moving on. Great. So now what? Oh, with the infinite hole. Oh, let's see that this. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly I can't fond believe of. we have to do all this again. A video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole. You can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Should I do it or not? Um, hmm. You already now, saw the ending, right? Bummer, so we can just pop back up, right? I do right? recommend you use the... Great! Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Alright, so let's move on. We did that. We already got the uh, ending for that. The infinite hole. Oh, there's infinite. Plus, we already saw the ending anyway. We recorded and everything. We don't need to do it again. Yeah. I think we could go to the collectibles, honestly. Okay. And then just... Yeah, we have to do the collectibles anyway to get the uh, epilogue. Yeah, we don't have to redo everything. I just think we have to... Do, yeah, as according to the guy, it says you don't need to do everything. You just need to do the collectibles ending. Okay. And then you have to restart the game a few times 
and then you get the end, the epilogue. Okay, so I'm not, what do I do? You have to go to collectibles, deal with the ending for that. Okay, um, I did the collectible thing over there. So I need to find the collectibles? No, you have to trigger it, so you have to go back to collectibles. And now that you have the bucket, I think we can do it. If it doesn't say out of order. There, it says it's out of order. Wait! Yeah, it's out of order. So it's just out of order, shit. <gasps> maybe you do have to go back with the bucket and go to the places where the figurines are. Maybe, maybe where you triggered it. Maybe you have to go to the exit now and leave with the bucket and find the the figurines. Because you already triggered it. It said out of order. You must have already triggered it. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah, we did everything here. Now? Yes. Maybe we could bring the bucket with us. New. No. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? All right. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> that looks awful. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? There's it's a bucket. Sort of. Okay, yeah, never two mind. Buckets. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Ah. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. <laughs> I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let's see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh shit! That's how you get the bucket endings, because you have to trigger the Stanley Parable too. Okay. So if you begin the game, you can do all the, the, the bucket endings now. Because you'll have the bucket. This is the story no, we don't of a care man about this. Names. We saw this. And the balloons are here now! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Do you want to do the endings of the buckets now that we have it at least? Alright, what do you want to do first? With the bucket. Or 16. Well, at least that ending, that achievement's easier now. Alright, so... Do you want to do all the stuff with the left door first, or all the stuff with the right door first? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go to the right. I'm uh, gonna go to the right. You'll do the right endings first and the left? Because those are the crazier ones. This was not the direct way to the meeting room, closet, oh, the but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling okay, him ending. that the employee well, lounge that. was simply the place like, to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Nah. 
No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Will they let you with the bucket? They Wait. will. Wait a minute. There's something else here. <gasps> Pick the ring! Oh! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no ring. You didn't even need the whiteboard! Orders. Only the intrinsic no. pleasure oh. of a the job well done. Yeah, we didn't check the whiteboard at all. I legit randomly just decided to come in. I am <laughs> to each and every moment you come across Shit. one of these beautiful figurines. You'd even need help. Nice. All right. All right. Like, wait, there's a path here now. So I dropped down here, and I even you saw the figurine before I did. All right, I'm gonna go trigger the tape ending now. Okay, this is day number 295, tape number, <laughs> I don't even know, I've lost track, nothing feels real anymore, the longer I study this bucket, <laughs> The less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense there's no explanation for it I still the good news for you is i think the game saved at the point when I you got the stanley parable 2 thing so it should so when we boot up back up say stanley parable 2. bucket is in my arms why everything it's weird. feels it's so thing but not everything else that's the weird part what I do i do bucket. with this treasure i can I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get What's that? Who's there? Camarada. Wait, in here is absolutely okay. overwhelming. A thousand? You people have got to be nuts. How can you stand this much bump scarcity? Because <laughs> oh! <laughs> you triggered Stanley Fable 2. Now it counts. Yeah. You got the dialogue meeting today. Figurine Finders Committee. Stanley lifted that's, the bucket into his arms. And a wave of yeah, if you look at the whiteboard, him. it'll tell you. Fuck, I'm the whiteboard. Yeah, yeah. You just got lucky that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go left to get the Stanley whiteboard, though. Stanley the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. All right, here's the whiteboard. Mission status. Check mark. Oh, A stairs. Something to do with stairs. Something to do with stairs. Probably in the boss's office. By the stairs. All right. Somewhere with both red and blue. The red and blue doors. Yeah. Nearby uh, a fireplace. Fireplace. Hmm. The boss's office had a fireplace. Yes, and then a private but smelly place. That's a bathroom! The private bathroom! The private bathroom. Oh. Okay, so most of... I can tell you spot with nice and fall in the air. These pictures of them. Followers, <laughs> by the way, 416. Thank you, 416. <laughs> the red room?
<laughs> Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the frick up. <laughs> oh, trust the completionist instinct. <laughs> There will be a reward for finding them all, except he told us there is. I love that just everything changed. Just everything. Now it's like, we need to find the collectibles! <laughs> There's nothing in the broom closet, but we could do the broom closet ending with the bucket. Oh, are... Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. Oh. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? <gasps> That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? What? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through Kate each of them point by point. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Share your journey, <laughs> yeah. detailing the rich Can emotional you landscape of your feelings <laughs> for the bucket as they've changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. You're a bitch. <laughs> your broom closet full of fucking tape. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Yeah. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical it's diatribes about the nature of no cleaning supplies else. and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. It's like I'm supposed to have All right, I've got a second sticker back here, yes, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You yeah, see, it's a I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. That's it, that's the ending. You got it. Now you go back in and you it's can get something else, so you gotta go back in the room closet. There's one more thing. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Ah, uh, that's the ending. There we go. Now we got it. Now we can leave. Alright, we're done here. So what we do? Go up to the Coming boss's to office. Stanley, Stanley and the bucket walk upstairs and then to the boss's office. A figurine somewhere in the private bathroom. Aha! On the Another miniature Stanley figurine. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Oh, um, what about Stanleyines? Yes. I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Yay. Fireplace, fireplace yes. Ah! A fireplace. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. No, Crushed is that by not the weight the of this revelation, what? Stanley it's may have broken place. down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. 
It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. The but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. To activate the ending, you must find all six figurines. Inside of a sequel exhibit, a large room off the box of the sailor. Oh, yeah, that's the one. I head past the meeting room and enter the stairwell. Oh, you already found one. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley. Which one did you find that one at? <laughs> no, I'm between Stan Marines. And, and which one was it? What do you think, Stan? Number four. Six. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic the sense of happiness fireplace. that you get? Oh, you found the fireplace after all that. Yes, yes, <laughs> <and> you're <laughs> like, oh, where is it? I found I'm it. I'm sure it will come to me. But you're going to it. That'd be funny. All right, I might as well just do this while I'm here. All right, while you wait, while you do the the blow up. I'm gonna do the freedom ending. I'm gonna do the freedom ending. The elevator raced down, to do the, plummeting uh, towards an unknown fate. I think if you hit up on the it would be all Stanley could ending. do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, no, comforting I think you do him, just stand reassuring well, we'll that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind control facility. Oh, you just want to get the normal ending with the bucket first? Uh, or are we doing the escape anyway? Is that what you meant? I'll do escape. I'll do the escape Alright, uh, we're doing the regular ending then. I think we went to the regular The lights rose oh, well. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in some way control. This might be the last ending of time. Never! Right. He squeezed the bucket have to do that tighter. Baseball, His one friend in the entire world. At this point, but we will definitely finish the game next week. We still have to do the rest of the, the bucket bucket. endings, the epilogue ending, the collectible, collectible, yeah, the end, and then we're done, I think. Because we're not going to do the stupid but one. We have to click the button four hours. Fuck that. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. No, they don't allow you to do it with the bucket. They actually don't allow you to do it. Really? Yeah, because you can't get past the red blue door to the bucket at all. Stanley so decided that this machinery that. would never again exert its turn off terrible power already. over another human life. For he I mean, turn off. What am I saying? We're getting the freedom. Of Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes. 
They had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Give it a call. Wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. <laughs> True, it was a was simple dreadful. life they envisioned. Let's watch Ed game from the end and then go to the beginning. One another to lean on, to trust, no. to support. <laughs> oh, this is a weird move. <laughs> what? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty, until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Wah, Even the wah. facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Because you have the bucket, you can't escape. You're stuck in here. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave yeah, this every place. bucket Not ending is morbid. Precious bucket every in one of them. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness is not God, we're handsome. We're Stanley trapped in eternal darkness. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. <laughs> so where's the key? <laughs> well, that was something. Uh, you can't, like, lock yourself in here. You get the ending with the bucket, huh? Yeah, they won't let you do that with the bucket. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time We're I thought time, so. everyone had gone yeah. missing? The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Alright, uh, you're gonna do a quick one? Stanley clutched the bucket Which tightly one's the to his chest. This was not uh, the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket Oh, just jumping him, off the, the cargo lift. The employee lounge yeah, was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, <laughs> said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. I hope the bucket's still alive. We have to check to see if we stole the bucket. Is the bucket okay? Now, Stanley's okay, office okay. was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? Oh, he could no longer recall. Wait, the sequel is now paused. Settings, is there a... That's all bad. No, don't delete the save data. And we have just too much bumpscosity. <laughs> I don't know how you can play with this much disgusting though. It's ridiculous. A weird ass setup. I don't understand it. <laughs> so why don't you uh just go to the main menu? I want to try to just quit to the menu, please, and go back in and make sure we can still do. Yes, we can. Confirmed. Let's make sure though. Skip. Check outside. Yes, it yeah, saves it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... Yes, and the bucket's still here. Confirm we could play it more next week. Shh. The balloon is working. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, they blocked off some of the sections of the map. No, they just blocked this part. Hey, go for this one. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Alright, well, peace out, guys. That was fun.